into the room Everything changes Darkness starts to tremble At the light that you bring When you walk into the room Every heart starts burning And nothing matters more Than just to sit here at your feet And worship you So we worship you, oh, we love you, we'll never stop, can't live without you, Jesus, we love you, and we can't get enough, all this is for you. starts to vanish every hopeless situation ceases to exist and when you walk into the room the dead begin to rise cause there is resurrection life in all you do we love you we'll never stop can't Come and consume God, all we are We give you permission, our hearts are yours We want you, we want you Come and consume God, all we are We give you permission, our hearts are yours We want you, we want you Today I want to talk about a thing called gratitude About the lifestyle of thankfulness I'm thinking that there is always something to be thankful for It might be small things, it might be big things it might be single things, it might be many things, but there's always something. Uh, thankfulness and blessings are going hand in hand. We, if we are uh, choosing, it's a choice, if we are choosing to be searching for something that we can be thankful for, even if it's just a single small thing in the midst of, of, of everything. <clears throat> and we're starting to, to lift that up, to praise our God for it, to praise Jesus for it. Then suddenly we have started a lifestyle, a lifestyle of gratitude. And that will also uh, come into a lifestyle of blessings and it will increase and it will increase and it will increase because for being satisfied 
you have to be satisfied. <laughs> it's a strange uh, statement, but you, you have to start somewhere. And uh, I can promise you, when you start that lifestyle, when you start that uh, wandering of gratitude with Jesus, something will happen. It might not be easy, you might be challenged, you might be disappointed, but if you are still focused on those things that you can be thankful for, it will actually change you and it will change your life. And it will also change your surroundings. It will change people around you because they will answer, they will ask, what? How, can, how can that person be so happy? How can that person be so blessed? And the answer is gratitude. So in gratitude I want to sing a little song here. Reason why I'm here is to worship the Lord. Because He is who He is. He is the great I am. One can say He is alive. But that's not enough. He is the life. He exists. Yeah, but there's something more. He is the existence. He is the great I am. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Oh, I play and sing for 
the glory of God. And I play and sing these messages to you. Right where you are. And maybe there is something that you are really good at. That you really like to do. Thank God for that. And start to, to use that. To start to acknowledge that. Because that's a part of you. That's a part of who you are. Uh, when you acknowledge your gift. Then that's a gratitude. That's a, then a, also a part of that lifestyle of gratitude. I like to bake. Say, I like to bake, yes. You are good at baking. Start to bake. And start to say to yourself, I'm, I'm good at baking. Well, I cannot lift myself up, you may, might say. But you are not lifting yourself up. You are lifting God up in that way. And you say to yourself, I'm good at bake. And I love to bake. And then I will... God will do something with that gift. There will be opportunities for the, your neighbors to come and taste your fantastic uh, bakery works. And they, you will have some good talks. And you will also, it will just come out from you. <laughs> well, that's a gift I have from God. And then things starts to happen. You might like to work with cars fixed cars oh you are good you are so good and you really really love it yeah. that's a thankfulness every time you are doing this mm -hmm. and you acknowledge this gift i'm good at it say to yourself i'm good at and maybe you're a truck driver mm -hmm. you might think well there are younger people that it's not much better than me maybe it's time for me to retire <clears throat> but you have a lot of experience Say, I'm good. There's no one that is so good as me. And uh, I will, that's a gift from God. You can find your way everywhere because you have been driving so many years. You are good. It's because God is good. The truth about yourself. Take it like a belt on you. Know, acknowledge your gifts and it will be a blessing it will be multiplying Hallelujah You have won the victory I want it all for me that could not hold you down You are the reason King Seated in majesty You are the reason King By his right Oh 
Nothing is impossible. And everything is possible. If everything is possible, how can anything be impossible? <laughs> that was a deep talk. <laughs> but uh, that's the truth. If everything is possible, how can anything be impossible? God is working for you. There is a, a place in the Bible uh, when, uh, when uh, there were 5,000 men gathered in, in the desert and there were women and children also and uh, Jesus and his disciples were, were there and they, Jesus said they, they, must have been, they must have food because they are hungry. And the disciples says how can we get food for them? for all of these people there is absolutely impossible where shall we buy that food okay jesus said what what uh, what is it here what can we get is there anyone that have something and little boy came with uh, five bread and two fishes and jesus took those five breads and two two fishes and thanked god for them and god blessed them so uh, then he could feed 5,000 men and women and children. But the, the, the key to this uh, miracle was the gratitude. Normally uh, the, the human flesh sh should say, oh little boy, <laughs> uh, that's cute of you, but that's not enough, so just eat them yourself. But Jesus took them and he, he, uh, was, he thanked God for them. He thanked God for the gift. And God, you ask also God for the blessing. And the blessing and the gratitude is coming together and it will and it and multiplied. So it's the same in, in our life. That's a princip, principle, a spiritual principle that we can actually, uh, Jesus is showing many times in the scripture principles that we actually can use because there are certain laws in, in the spiritual realm as it laws in, 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 uh, in the physical re realm. <clears throat> so um, when we are actually using us of these principles, things are starting to happen mm -hmm. because we are by, by faith stepping into the supernatural realm. And that's uh, we're going to talk about uh, in, uh, in the future here. But, but today I just wanted to mention it, that we can actually start there by, by choosing a lifestyle of gratitude and start to to ask for blessings <clears throat> and now you have a pro opportunity here to mm -hmm. ask for blessings because we would like to pray for you if you have some needs and uh, and then you can uh, we can write to 247tv.dk or you can go into Anita's uh, Facebook page uh, on, on, on Facebook so you are we most welcome with your prayer requests and uh, like I said uh, 247 tv.dk or Anita's uh, page on Facebook. So, so most welcome and we will pray together with you and um, just uh, God is here and he is, he is coming through the, the screen also so if you have some pain somewhere some sickness that you want to get rid of you just uh, place your hand there and you just Reach out your hand through the screen, uh, towards the screen, and I'm sure that things will happen. You are doing this by faith. You are taking a step by faith, by, by stretching yourself into the supernatural realm. We are, we are in the supernatural realm because God is a supernatural God. But it's a natural uh, doing. You, it's a natural thing you are doing. You are in, that, in the natural stretching yourself to the screen. And God is stretching his hand to you also. He will meet you there. You were the first at the beginning. On with God, the Lord most high. Your hidden glory in creation. Now reveal.
name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. name it is nothing compares to this what a wonderful name it is the name of Jesus what a wonderful name it is the name of Jesus you have no rival you have no rival now and forever God you Yours is the kingdom, yours is the glory, yours is the name above all names. What a powerful name it is, what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is, nothing can stand again. Powerful name it is the name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is the name of Jesus. Powerful name it is the name of Jesus. There is someone there out there right now that have a some pain in the hip the right side to set your hand to the to the screen and lay your hand other hand on the hip where you have your pain and God is coming right now with his glory with his power with his healing power because he carried that pain upon the cross and he confirms that with a miracle right now just receive receive your healing right now You uh, maybe are here that is thinking, is God really loving me? And uh, many of us have some days where we actually wonder that. I just want to encourage you that God loves you. Uh, if you are reading the scripture when, when Jesus was baptized, there came a voice from heaven. This is my beloved son, in whom I have my joy. If you have received Jesus in your life, you are that son. And God is saying those words to you today. Even you are, you can say it, his daughter also. God loves you. You are his beloved child in whom he has his joy. He's, he rejoices over you. He 
rejoice over you. He's happy with you. words yeah. we just uh, we just uh, encourage you to to write and to uh, be blessed yeah. in Jesus name Amen